The European Chips Act uh, provides the much needed multi-layer strategy for chip makers and the whole ecosystem to be able to invest and to get finance in Europe. Chips and semiconductors are an essence in every future scenario that we have. That's why we're investing in them significantly. The EU Chips Act will make Europe definitely more appealing for leading edge chips makers because it introduces the concept of first of a kind. And this is the future. And we predict that there's going to be a massive growth in demand and in usage of leading edge chips, which are required for the technologies of the future. Leading edge chip makers like Intel and other companies are already planning investments in Europe in first of a kind facilities that will bring uh, to Europe very innovative technologies. I'm very proud that we try to embrace that complexity, making sure that design, manufacturing, testing, packaging, all is in to make sure that we get new bubbles, new Silicon Valleys inside Europe that actually can compete on a worldwide level. Semiconductor technologies will enable Europe to become a technology leader in AI, cloud, 5G, autonomous driving, IoT, while at the same time they will play a critical role in the transition to greener technologies that will help Europe meeting its sustainability goals. It gives the opportunity for more international collaboration. It makes sure that supply chains will be monitored and hopefully we would never get to the point of a crisis. Geopolitical shocks can always occur across the world and I think no one in the global chips supply chain sector is fully resilient of that. But what we are trying to do is becoming more resilient against that. To be successful, the semiconductor industry will need long-term competitive conditions to operate in Europe, a skilled workforce, and international partnerships with like-minded countries. It's very important to know that no man is an island. The European Union cannot succeed on its own. The semiconductor industry can now more easily invest. It sends the right uh, investment signals. It provides uh, more certainty, more predictability. I think it's a very important step. It is the right step. It's a strategic step. Much more can be done when you look at what the EU Chips Act is doing in Europe and you compare it what the US Chips Act is doing in the United States or Chinese legislation, there's still a lot of work to be done in Europe. We are currently working on the critical raw materials strategy, the Net Zero Act, and others uh, that will hopefully assist us uh, in this ambitious goal. I think Europe needs to uh, combine resources. We need economies of scale, we need economies of scope, which requires more Europe, uh, so that we can effectively compete in Europe with uh, other regions in the world.